exposed. See the popular Emir arrested for sponsoring bandits in the north. Hello, my wonderful people. That's the Emir. You can see his face. It's one of those because this is not the only one I can assure you. Who is sponsoring banditry in the north and in causing insecurity in the country. You know the problem with Nigeria? You know the sentiment of religion, uh, region, the bias of my people is what has kept us where we are today. So because of religion, so people feel that the other people deserve to die. But you, you know, it says you should live. Why do you have, why do you have the infantry to live? And who told you that the other person is a second class because you beloved, belong to a school of thought? Anyway, they don't nab one, one down, many more to go. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's understand all that is going on. I hope they will not release him in a hurry because maybe he has um, offended somebody. Hence, he was exposed. The rest, nobody knows them, right? Well, wh wh who are we deceiving exactly? Exposed. See the popular Emir arrested for sponsoring of bandits in the north. Halaji Yusuf Lawa, the district head of Kang Kara, also known as Sanki Punwa Kastina, has been fired by the Kastina Emirate Council. Lawa was first detained by the Emirate in April of this year. The district head was suspended after he was found guilty of all charges filed against him by citizens in his domain the most of which has to do with his supporting and associating banditry as well as hiring the ongoing efforts, hindering the ongoing efforts to combat bandits in the area. The Emirates spokesman Halaji Ibrahim informed Chinese television that the district head has been sponsored, has been suspected earlier this month for allegedly sponsoring this group funding the bandits activities in Kankari, one of the state frontline local government area be best set back by violence. He added that the Emir has been carrying out this activity and they've been watching out for him. The Emirates set up a commission chaired by Castina Remy district head, which met with security officials and other stakeholders particularly from Kankari district, and found the district held guilty of assisting banditry, kidnapping, terrorizing Kankari local government area. The section of complaints from residents prompted the immediate suspension, which f was followed by an investigation. What happened was that the state government has earlier authorized the Emirate Council to begin an investigation into the locals, complain against the district head. After the investigation was completed, the Emirate judged him guilty and submitted his report to the state government, which directed the Emirates to fire him. 344 pupils from the government's science secondary school in Kankari were kidnapped in December last year. The incident occurred in Kankari government secondary school and the children were released after a week of negotiation with the federal government paying a huge sum of amount to the bandits. Castina and Zamfara has been in the heat of the current spree of insecurity. Meanwhile, Boko Haram terrorists claim responsibility for some kidnapping that has been ongoing in the area. So my people, they've caught this one and then we will, we will see if they will expose the others because it's one down, many more to go. This is what they do. Nobody hinders them, unhindered. They go on, they do whatever they want to do and continue as though nothing has happened. We cannot sit back and pretend that all is well. People who are carrying out these things, people who are doing these things, yes, are within the government. It starts from the federal government. If they want to do a, coro a, a thorough sweep and they want to make a clean, you know, a clean sweep of what is currently going on, they need to stand and start from the presidency. They need to start from the presidency. Who well, are you sure that President Muhammad Buhari is not one of them? How are you sure that he's not one of them? Ah, uh, you see where we are going. 
He was in Castina when some students were kidnapped. Did he go there? No. When last did you see the president yourself? What did, when last did you see the president? Let's, let's even start from there. When was the last time you saw the president of the country? When was the last time? It's a question we all need to ask an answer for ourselves and be honest. Is there anybody in leadership? Is there anybody, you know, calling, for, you know, and giving direction to what we are currently experiencing? I tell you the answer is what? No. There's nobody there. Every one of them are just there, marking time, doing their own thing, pretending that all is well. My people, all is not well. Nigeria is going from bad to worse. And this is the reason there is the call for sectioning. Why people want out. People are tired and cannot continue, keep quiet and continue to allow this administration, especially this Muhammad Buhari's administration. Things were worse before. Things were bad, but has gone even terrible currently with what we are experiencing. We cannot pretend that all is well. No, we must speak out and we must let it be loud and clear that this is what we are experiencing. We do not accept it and we are saying no to it. If we don't do that, we do not give ourselves a better opportunity and position to set ourselves free from this present predicament that we are experiencing as a result of Muhammad Buhari's incompetence. People said they want out. Guess what? Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu and his cohorts have quickly had a meeting. And what's the purpose of that meeting? To tell everybody that uh, they don't accept for in the, the, in the Yoruba area, that's the southwest area, we have what we call the Oduduwa's Republic. That they do not stand with it, they don't accept it. Those who are calling for the Oduduwa's Republic are doing so and they are at their own peril. That um, they are the government and they do not stand for it. Why is this saying this? It is because of his own interests, okay? It is because... He intends to be president and he knows that if he does not, uh, if he does not speak, uh, he may not get the, the, the support of the North. Hence, and he does not want Nigeria to be divided in his time so he can have more wealth to amass to himself. Can you see the, can you see the, can you see the selfishness? I, I mean, he needs to prove to people beyond reasonable doubt. He needs to show to them that he understands what they are going through. Instead of trying to, you know, uh, impose himself or his will or his, his idea on the rest of the people, it, it won't work. Leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.